So as you might know, I usually prefer backpacks over anything else. But these two tote bags just look way too good for me not to check them out. But which one is better for you? The Bellroy Duo tote bag or the crafted goods Mr. Groove? Obviously, these two, just from a stylistic standpoint, are two different bags. But let's go over the similarities first. Both are tote bags and with that they are predominantly targeted for office or day-to-day -day use due to their size and carrying style. Both can be transformed into backpacks, but I just want to concentrate on the tote bag aspect. Although just let me show you how they look as backpacks for good measure. Both bags can easily stow away the shoulder straps to go from backpack to tote bag mode. One thing that I like straight away on both of them, because they are tote bags, they are very slim and therefore look very streamlined on your back. Okay, let's go back to the tote bag aspect. To me, a tote bag is carried like a briefcase in one hand and therefore it should have a rather slim profile. Furthermore, it shouldn't be too big and thus not too heavy. So both bags are around 15 to 18 liters capacity, which is plenty for all of your office items like laptop, charger, notebook, and in my case, keyboard, mouse, hard drives. In both, you have a huge array of organization, but I will get to that in a minute because this is where they differ quite a bit. I admit that I submit both bags to special use case with all of this gear. Because usually people won't carry an aluminium keyboard, a mouse, hard drives and other gear in their office bags. But both bags are well and durable made and can hold all that weight easily. The handles on both bags are well padded and comfortable. Although with all that weight I would not want to carry this in tote bag mode for a longer period of time. Now let's look at both bags a little bit closer. Starting with the Bellroy Duo tote bag. The design and choices of materials like these leather accents make this a great bag for someone who needs to wear a suit or maybe dress shirts for work. To my eye it is sleek but still urban. Although there is a quick access pocket in the back and a quick access compartment in the front, they are kinda hidden and give the bag a very clean look. On the bottom you can find two fitlock attachment points that can expand the main compartment. So let's talk about the main compartment. The main compartment has a bunch of organizational compartments to keep everything organized. So you have two of these zippered pockets a bottle slot and three slots in addition to the main compartment. One of which is a laptop compartment which is very well padded and the other has a magnetic closure. So I was born in the 80s and in the 80s I grew up with floppy disks and we had a tube TV at home. Both of which were notoriously fragile if they were close or in close proximity to a magnet. Which is basically why I still don't like to put any of my gear in close proximity to any magnet. I know that the gear nowadays isn't that fragile when close to magnets, but for instance optical stabilization inside lenses or in-body stabilization inside the camera does get a little bit funky if it gets close to a magnet or if it's exposed to a magnet a longer period of time, granted it has to be a very strong magnet, it can get damaged. So I still don't like putting my camera or my lenses near a magnet, no matter how big or how small the magnet actually is. But <laughs> that's probably just me, so let's get back to the back. So as you can see, lots of places to store and organize all of your work-related items inside the bag. And that is probably one of the things that Crafted Goods Mr. Groove does differently. 
crafted goods tote bag has almost a military style to it, with all its moly outside. And that's how you organize all of your items, on the outside with these modular pouches that are attached or detachable. So you can modify the bag to your liking. Want more organization? Attach the two pouches on the outside. You only need the basics? Detach the pouches, because inside the big main compartment you will only find two slots for your laptop and a zippered compartment. The laptop compartment is not as padded as I would like it to be, but it is suspended. You secure your laptop with this push button. I would have preferred velcro or something softer, because if you push this metal button to close it and the laptop is inside, you could submit your precious and expensive laptop to unnecessary pressure to this one single point. So if you decide to detach one of these modular pouches, you can actually attach this shoulder strap and use it individually as a small sling bag. And now let's take a closer look at these two pouches. They have different sizes, but lots of organizational compartments to give all of your items its own space. But they have additional moly outside as well, to customize the bag even further. Speaking of customizing, you can even adjust the length of the two tote bag mode handles to adjust the bag to your size and carrying style. So this is what it comes down to. Modularity versus simplicity. Urban style versus business style. Both bags are tote bags that can be transformed to backpacks and are more geared towards the office carry or everyday carry, but not necessarily for travel or grocery shopping or going to the gym. But these two bags target two different kinds of people. You like simplicity and maybe you need to dress up for work? Then go with the Bellroy. You dress more casually and you like modularity and maybe also a military look, but you can take the Gorok GR1 or maybe the 511 Rush 12 to work, then go with the crafted goods. Both bags are very well made and comfortable to carry either in tote bag mode or in backpack mode, as long as the load is reasonable. And both bags can obviously carry all my gear, but with all that gear and all that weight, I would actually recommend just to go with a regular backpack so it is more comfortable on your shoulders. So the choice is yours. These aren't bags that I would usually use, but I enjoyed using them and there isn't much that I can criticize about them. I personally like the look and the modularity of the crafted goods, but which one do you prefer? The Bellroy or the crafted goods? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other questions, also let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks.